Hello everyone, this is Mumbo and welcome back to another episode on the Hermit Craft server. It is episode 28 and today I am feeling very, very jet lagged. I have just returned home from Boston, from Minecon Earth, and I have to say I had such a good time. I ate everything in sight. All of the hermits were incredibly impressed at the quantity of food I managed to consume while I was in Boston because, you know, American food, I just... It is absolutely awesome compared to England, but also I we did a panel, we did a panel, and I think it went very well. I was really, really happy with it. Uh, I think all of us just kind of chatted very naturally. It all it was just it was great. It went it went really, really well. Uh, so if you do want to see that, that is on the Minecraft YouTube channel. So I would suggest going over there and checking it out and seeing myself, Iskal, Rendog, Stress Monster, and Cub Fan discussing Hermitcraft and playing on a multiplayer server. And speaking of Hermitcraft and playing on a multiplayer server, I think we should probably start off today's episode. Now today what I want to do is I actually want to work on this thing very briefly. While I was in bed in Boston, I came up with a very, very good idea as to how to do this thing and I kind of jumped out of bed then realized that I couldn't actually play Minecraft. I didn't have Minecraft anywhere near me. So that means I've had to wait to actually build this thing and it involves taking this part down. Only the top section. You'll see in a sec. In fact, now that I'm looking, we really don't need this many furnaces. Uh, there, there's no way we need this much. You know what? Let's just tear it all down and start again because it's a little bit too close to the island anyway. Now, this system is considerably simpler than the previous design that we came up with. I don't know why I was overcomplicating things so massively. Essentially, what we've got is we've got three furnaces and I would say that these three furnaces are going to smelt kelp slower than that farm produces it. Okay, so we're going to be producing more than this can actually keep up with, which means that gradually these chests will fill up, then these chests will fill up, and then these chests will fill up, and that means that all three of our furnaces are going to be kicking into action. They're all going to be smelting kelp constantly, which means that we're going to have a constant stream of dried kelp coming out the bottom, which means that we can turn that into fuel, we can use that to fuel these furnaces, and also use that to fuel these furnaces as well. I think I think that's the best way to do it, to be quite frankly honest with you. Look, can someone please tell me why I would want to launch myself into one of these mobs? Look, I just end up next to them, and then I... I mean, that's... I don't really understand, but I have just got one of those Nautilus shells, so that is... that's quite useful. But still, I... I, I'm not 100% sold on these things just yet. Now, the only thing that I need to work out is I need to work out where our storage system is going to go. So I'm thinking if we run a hopper line out and across from these furnaces here, then run it up into another item elevator, a bit like this one, and then chuck it down into a storage system, we can have a big storage system here just dedicated to dried kelp. <laughs> I think I might have built this a little bit too claustrophobically. I think I think maybe we need to kind of swap some redstone around and maybe move those chests back a little bit because there is no reason why this build would be this tightly compact. We have infinite space. We have literally infinite space. We could go as far as we want. And I've chosen to build everything within like four blocks of one another. Now that that has been fixed up and things are looking a little bit more open, I think it's time to actually try this thing out. So if I take out this redstone torch right here, that is going to activate our kelp transportation system and all of the kelp is now flowing in and that is not something that I was expecting to happen, but it's actually quite good. Is it good? I don't know. Is that good? <laughs> it could be. This could actually be quite handy. The fact that it's being kind of evenly dispersed between all the hoppers is actually quite helpful. <laughs> so that's all doing that, and then this is shooting them up, and there we go. Our storage system is filling up with dried kelp. So as the kelp comes in, it's going through this triple furnace system. We've got a storage system up at the top there, so that's where all of the kelp will be stored if we run out of fuel for these furnaces, and then all of our dried kelp is going to be here. So that's going to be happening permanently. We don't have to worry about smelting up items. You don't have to use the super smelter to be getting fuel for the super smelter. This is going to be happening 100% of the time. So in other words, it's finally built, finally this thing is actually going to be functioning. So now uh, it's time to actually construct the building around it. And has that guy just come from up there? <laughs> and they can't swim, can they? He's just gone straight down to the bottom. That's hilarious. Also, as a side note, I seem to have a marching band outside my window, which is fantastic. I, I mean, I appreciate marching bands, 
Not great for when you're making YouTube videos though. So here's what I'm thinking for this build. I've just spent a little bit of time just kind of beefing this thing up and I thought we could create an almost L shape. So we're going to have a tall section here that's going to go up like this and then this is going to extend across and we have to be careful because we don't want to be crashing into that band. And I can see tridents flying and I'm going to see Oh no, 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 I'm getting out of here. <laughs> now I think my idea for this building is going to be pretty futuristic in that it's going to be almost striped. So we're going to have a line of white hardened concrete. Then we're going to have a line of glass panes, potentially light blue. I haven't actually experimented with light blue glass just yet, but I think that could look quite cool. Then we're going to have a line of hardened concrete and it's kind of going to go up like that. And then we're going to have a quartz ceiling, which is going to have a wave in it. I've never built anything like that before but I'm gonna give it a go. Okay, this is a good start. I'm liking the way this looks. I especially like the fact that you can see all of the hoppers and all of the furnaces and things. Yes, that is pretty nice. Is that, does he have a trident? He has a trident. He dropped a head, but he didn't drop his trident. Okay, so now that all of the blocks going around the outside are all in place, it's now time to start work on the roof. And this is going to be a bit of a challenge. I think I want it to go up like this, so we'll get it to go a little bit steeper, then roll off, and then come back down and go really steep up at this end. So we kind of get like a ramp almost flying off the top. I, can't, I want it to be quite tall, and the entire roof is going to be made out of quartz, because I just think quartz is pretty. Mm, that's not gotten off to the best of starts. No, 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 no. No, that, that's, that's definitely no good. Yeah, this really isn't working. I've been staring at this for longer than I care to admit. And nothing's coming to mind. So I think, I think I might, might do something slightly different. And I'm fairly certain that I've just come up with something that I think could work quite nicely. Yeah. Okay, this is the new idea. So we're going to have it split up into different segments. So we've got quartz section, and then we've got these two sections right here. We're going to have striped quartz going across here, and then we'll have, this can be the smaller area, and then we'll have a tower on this end. Yeah, I think, I think that's probably the way to go. It is, however, incredibly expensive. So here we have all of the quartz stripes on that side, and then we've also got all the quartz stripes on this side, and I really like the way that the light kind of comes through. I think it looks really cool, and if we take a look at the build now, yeah, that looks pretty fancy. At least it looks interesting. Everything looks so tiny in front of this build though. <laughs> like seriously, nothing, nothing looks impressive in size when it's next to that. Nothing I build is going to look big in this area. We might actually have to add a handful of floors to this zone to actually make it look substantial because otherwise we've got a problem. We genuinely have an issue. So I, I've created the full tower. I've put the roof on top. I haven't actually looked at this thing just yet at all. So I have no idea what it looks like. I do feel like maybe we need some light sources in this area potentially and also I feel like some of these torches and things can go and we need to light up some of the spaces in different ways. But this is what the build looks like, and this is how it's going to be feeling. Now, I have to say, I'm going to try and land on this island here. Oh, I don't know. I think I liked it more when it didn't have the second layer on it. Oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, that guy's got a trident though, so I'm going to try my best to kill him, but... Yeah, I don't know what to say about this one. I really don't know what to say. Whoa! What on earth is that bow? Seriously, I think maybe one of the issues is the fact that we don't actually have anything under the build at this point in time It kind of looks like it's floating on top of the water So I'm going to try and sort that out by making use of some gray concrete and also maybe some packed ice Do we have any packed ice? I can't remember if I've got any left. All right, just by adding something like this in place It definitely improves things, but I think this needs a totally new design. I think I think the boxiness just isn't working for me. 
Hmm, you know what? I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add in this structure. So we're going to take down the nether portal and we're going to build that up in this little town area. So maybe in this space here. And then we might come back to this thing and see if any other ideas have come up. That build is now gone. The nether portal is still there for the time being. I'm going to remove that in the next couple seconds. But I can't help but notice these leaves don't seem to be disappearing. I don't really understand why that is. Did I place these manually? I feel like I wouldn't have placed them manually. Actually, you know what I think I might have done? I seem to remember filling out the trees so that it looked a little bit better. Anyway, aside from that, I've actually had a bit of a hit with inspiration about what I can do with this build here, so I'm going to try my best to construct it. These builds, they're so out of my wheelhouse. Like, entirely, 100% out of my wheelhouse. I tend to build things in quite like a messy style, unless I'm building in geometric shapes. Mm -hmm. Then I'm, I'm, I'm tend to, I am I'm, tend to like things to be quite messy, and these, these modern builds, these futuristic builds, you kind of can't do that. So I'm having to stick with very clean lines and everything, and it's a struggle. <laughs> it's really, really difficult. But I think this could end up looking good. Oh, no, I, I just don't know. I think the problem that I faced is the fact that I don't have much texture in the ceiling. So I think actually all of this, everything can come down and we're going to start kind of from fresh right there. What the heck? That's meant to have stopped happening. My Elytra still don't activate despite the fact that we're, we're now on a new server. Oh, my, oh now there's a creeper that... Just... what? <laughs> he wasn't even ready to explode! <laughs> Something's going on. ZF's logged in and caused a world of lag. Before people get angry at ZF down in the comment section, it's not ZF's fault. He hasn't actually caused any lag. I don't know why the servers started running slow. This just occasionally happens. And also, before people say it down in the comment section, it's not because I had food in my inventory or in my offhand. That's that's not how things work. It's just, it's when the server runs a little bit slow, your Elytra, they activate, then deactivate, then activate, then deactivate. It has nothing to do with the food in my offhand. Please, please stop writing it down in the comment section. It drives me around the bend. Okay, I have been doing some work on this over the past couple hours, just taking things down, reconstructing things, building various different things that have been added to it and then taking them down and it's been interesting it's been yeah as i say this is a big learning curve for me <laughs> uh and it's something that i'm going to try my best to work on i think i think i in the future definitely need to actually build these things in creative testing worlds before i construct them on the hermitcraft server because <laughs> this is a lot more time consuming doing it in survival mode that's more interesting than what we had going on earlier. So that's good. We are heading in the correct direction, which I think is nice. <laughs> um, but still tough. I've done a little bit more work on the front side, so now I'm finally reaching the stage where I'm happy with it. And we're getting some more lights in as well because the entire thing was looking a tiny bit dark. For this backside area here, I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to do. But I'm thinking maybe just a big window. Going across here up to maybe this point with slabs on top of all of these blocks and then having yeah glass or something so that we can look straight in honestly I really don't know come on I don't have high hopes for this being being stocked up and no it's not we need nether quartz we need loads of nether quartz and there is none left ZF is actually online so I could maybe blast him for having an unstocked shop Anyone got any quartz I could buy? Someone hasn't stocked their shop. Yeah, I think I think that's the perfect message to send out to the group of two, ZF included. You know, I actually had a bunch of quartz stairs lying around, so I thought I'd try my best to make use of those before we actually go out on the quartz mining session. And I have to say, I actually quite like the way that it looks. So it lines up nicely with these, and it adds texture to this otherwise relatively untextured side of the building. And I think that's actually finished everything off. So if we take a fly around, we're going to do the typical mumbo jumbo fly around. It looks cool from that angle. Everything looks super futuristic, which is very good. Okay, obviously we're going for a super futuristic vibe here. This side looks pretty fancy as well. All right, let's fly along. This is all looking pretty cool. I gotta say, I'm actually happy with this thing now. This is a bit more of a struggle, but that I think that's just because it needs a little bit more light. It might actually just need 
it might need... It almost feels like it needs this going back down on the other side. So this kind of coming up and over and going down on this side. So that we have that constant going throughout the entire build. Because maybe that's where it starts to feel strange. The fact that we've lost this kind of hard and fast element that wraps, like almost like a ribbon. It goes up and over the top. Yeah, it might make sense to actually build that on the other side. And then maybe we could do the stairs on that side as well. We could have the stairs racking up through here. Yeah, I like that idea. I apologize that this episode has been so much of building on this. I, I've been working on it for about 10 minutes of the episode now, which I can promise you is far faster than it's been for me. It's been many hours. Dude, this is absolutely perfect. ZF is a champ. He's one of my favorite people on the Hermitcraft server because he has, he has provided quartz at my time of need. That is absolutely perfect. One... Two, three, four, five, six. Boom, 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 boom. So now, with help from ZF's extra quartz, we have got a full up and over situation going on with that quartz there. And yeah, that has improved things massively. Now what I've also done is I've extended out these blocks so that we kind of have like a solid hard line on this side and I think that's improved things as well. I think the whole thing is just looking much, much better. It's looking a lot cleaner. I'm so glad that we didn't stick with what we had going on originally because that was a pretty horrible build. It kind of reminded me of builds that I used to do way back in the early days. Like when I first got Minecraft, you just build squares out of glass and wood. <laughs> that, that tended to be how, how you did it. So it kind of looked like one of those. Whereas now we actually have some shape, we have some texture in there. And I, I think it's it's much better. Now obviously it's not perfect, so I'll be reading your comments. And also I'll probably ask my next door neighbor, Grian, if there's anything that I could do to improve this thing. But... This is looking cool. I'm, I'm happy with it. Except currently there's no entrance. So I guess we should probably build one of those. Maybe just this. Maybe just punch out a few blocks here and then have an entrance through the, the quartz. That's probably the way to go. By the way, both the kelp farm and also our little kelp smelter that we have going on here. Working really great. We've got ourselves one full double chest, so that is nine stacks of kelp blocks, which is going to provide fuel for, well, that's like half a stack for all of these furnaces, which is amazing. That that really is great. And obviously this is going to continue working, which is fantastic. I'm so glad we built this system. It's so much better. It is looking really, really ugly in here though, like seriously, seriously ugly. So I think I'm actually going to do a little bit of work on making this place a tiny bit prettier. I mean, it doesn't have to be gorgeous, award-winning, five-star hotel kind of style, but I do think it needs to be a bit better than this because this just looks like a... Well, I don't know, it just looks like I've smashed every block under the sun into this area and there's no real structure to it. I think this is slightly better. So I have... I, I've just put up some concrete and things like that. We still have a lot of stuff going on in the ceiling. Maybe... I mean, do I just cover it? I would almost feel bad. I mean, how does it even look? I haven't even looked at how it how it's actually appearing from the outside. Is this uh, a horrendously ugly construction that I've just put on the inside here? No, it's actually cleaned things up a little bit and you can still see the furnaces and you can still see some of the hoppers and things. It's quite nice. I feel like, yeah, a, a little roof over the top of this thing just to cover up some of this mess might actually come in handy. Yes, there we go. This This is more the style that I was looking for. Now it's coming together. I have no clue what to do in this area. Maybe have like a chest or two. Maybe if I had an ender chest, then maybe I would place one over there. Maybe a shulker box. I don't know, just a, a little bit of storage over here just to make it an actually usable area. But other than that, I'm feeling positive. And I think on that note, ladies and gentlemen, it is actually time to end. Unfortunately, I am completely out of time. This episode is going to be releasing two hours from this point in time. So I've got to do some very speedy editing. But I am very happy with what we've managed to do today. I'm super happy with how much progress we've managed to make. And this has kick-started the town or the city, the floating city, that we are going to be building around our enormous storage system. And hopefully this build has actually put into context just how massive this thing is. <laughs> like, this gives context, my Elytra have just broken, this gives context to how huge that is. Like, you know when you don't see, you know people could tell you, you see a picture of a building and people, you, you have nothing to compare it to, then it doesn't look that big, but then you put like a, a person next to it and you're like, oh my word, that building's that big. Well, that's kind of the case with this thing. This is a big build 
and this is just yeah it's absolutely ridiculous anyway i really do hope that you enjoyed this video if you did please show us that like button and if you really loved it then make sure to subscribe but thanks for watching guys this is mumbo and i'm out i'll see you later oh and i would suggest checking out the hermitcraft panel mentioned it earlier on i'll put a link to it down in the description you know what to do